Now, when you think of an off-road vehicle to go mudding with, you probably think of a truck, or maybe even a Jeep. Well, not this owner. He decided his mid-sized luxury SUV would be the perfect vehicle for the job. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to what promises to be a very muddy video today. This is a 2008 Acura MDX that was clearly out playing in the mud recently. And while the owner no doubt had a ton of fun getting it this dirty, I think I'm gonna have just as much fun getting it all cleaned up today, so stay tuned. All right guys, well, I think it's pretty obvious that my pressure washer is going to get a workout today getting all this mud blasted off the MDX, which between you and me, I am perfectly okay with. When the owner dropped it off, he jokingly said, I'd have my hands full with this one, but little does he know that pressure washing happens to be my favorite part of a detail since I get to see such instant transformation as I work. Now as I work on the tailgate here, I was surprised to see that this MDX only has 100,000 kilometers on it, which is about 62,000 miles. So for it being 15 years old, that's incredibly low mileage. Usually I see vehicles on the other end of the spectrum. So that really makes me wonder why on earth the owner took it through a mud pit. I'll have more on that a little later. Now I have to say that I'm glad this Acura doesn't have carpeted liners like the new ones do as it's so much easier getting the wheel wells sprayed out when they're just plastic and from what I've seen in all the vehicles I've done, plastic liners always hold up better over time than carpeted ones do.
Now, it's probably pretty obvious but when you drive through a mud pit, the mud is going to get everywhere. So of course, the underside of the vehicle is completely covered as well, which means I'm going to have to be far more thorough today as I get to work with my undercarriage sprayer. This is a tool that really makes my job easier as trying to bend over and contort myself to spray underneath here with the pressure washer would be incredibly difficult. So if any of you out there happen to like mudding like this owner does, consider picking one up. I've got the link to them on Amazon down in the description, so feel free to give them a look if you're interested. Okay, next step here after using my detail brush around all the crevices and emblems is to give the vehicle a careful and meticulous hand wash and for that I only ever use the two bucket method and a super soft microfiber chenille wash mitt paired with my Detail Geek car shampoo that produces just the right amount of suds. So one thing I don't film very often is wiping down the door jams, but it is something that should get done every time you wash your vehicle. And while I was doing this, I couldn't help but think of how dirty door jams are a huge indicator of how well a vehicle has been maintained. It's an area most people overlook, so when I come across sparkling clean ones like these, I know it's been extremely well maintained over its lifetime, aside from the recent trip to the mud pit of course, which the owner told me only happened because he's planning to sell the vehicle, so I guess since he planned to get it detailed anyways, he wanted to have some fun with it first. One more tip I have for you guys is regarding floor mats. If you're ever in the market for floor mats, consider choosing ones that are made from soft rubber like these ones as soft rubber always cleans up to look new and resists staining unlike hard rubber or plastic ones like WeatherTex. Now formed mats do a great job protecting the carpet, but they do stain really easy and look terrible as time goes on. So if you like things to look new, I'd go with soft rubber ones.
moving to the driver's side and I wanted to quickly remind you guys that if you're interested in super sneak peeks of upcoming videos, some behind the scenes action and updates on what I've got going on in my personal life, then consider becoming a member of the channel. I'm posting all that and more on the members only community tab and if you do sign up, you'll even get a cool little badge beside your name when you comment, so be sure to check it out. There's a big join button right below this video for you. Now once the vehicle is clean enough for me to be in, I'll work my way around with my boar's hair detail brush, being sure to get into all the little crevices around the vehicle's interior. starting on extracting now and you'll notice that the carpets really aren't very dirty. In fact, they look brand new in most spots with the exception of the border around the floor mats, which does inevitably get dirty, but that certainly doesn't mean that I won't be cleaning every inch of them. It just tells me where I need to focus my attention most.
Now for the lingering stain and dirt here, I'll repeat the process, but if that doesn't do the job, then I'll be sure to come back to this area and hit it with steam and the brush attachment when I've got the steamer out in a little bit. One thing I will say about this MDX is that I'm noticing it's very well built and the materials used are high quality, with one example being the carpet used on the back of the seats and in the cargo area. Typically most manufacturers, even the luxury brands like BMW or Mercedes, use terribly cheap carpet, but this Acura has probably the nicest stuff I've seen in a vehicle. Now it's not as thick as regular carpet is, but for the seat backs and cargo area, having it that little bit thicker makes cleaning it so much easier. Here's the half bucket of dirty water the extractor pulled from the MDX today. Now, not the worst thing you've ever seen, but still pretty gross. Well, after taking care of the kids' artwork, I'll keep moving around the interior with the steamer, but you'll notice I'm not using APC here, and that's because it's really not necessary. The steam alone can blast any bit of stuck on dirt or crud out from any crevice, and then my towel is damp when I wipe things down, so this is the least aggressive method to do the job. Moving to what is easily the dirtiest part of the car and that's all the leather seats which my leather cleaner won't have any trouble getting cleaned up. You can use this like I am with the steamer or you can use it with a soft brush like my leather brush for seats that aren't super dirty like these ones are. You can find both over on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available.
moving back outside now and with my graphene spray coating in hand I'll work on getting every inch of this paint protected and glossy again and in terms of why I chose the graphene spray over my ceramic spray or paint sealant today well it's really just personal preference as they all do essentially the same job albeit with some subtle differences. Alright, well here's the very last step of every detail that I never film because it's incredibly boring to watch, and that's to do a thorough final vacuum to ensure I get any of the dirt or debris that found its way into the vehicle since I vacuumed earlier as I was in and out of here a hundred times today, and this way it ensures things are perfect for when the owner picks it up. All right guys, well nine hours later and all the mud is gone and this MDX is almost looking brand new again. So hopefully the owner can keep it out of the mud for at least a little while. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check me out on all my other social media. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.